everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I went to a baby shower, and I was talking to Jim, and I said, what should I talk about today? And he says, oh, you could talk about the baby shower. And I said, no, that's boring stuff. <laughs> it is sort of boring, but we I did have a nice shower. It was a nice shower, okay. And when, and when I was at the shower, this is, this is, this is funny because something does happen at the shower that kind of, you could see by the facial, facial expression that it was, you could tell, you could just tell, you, you read faces. And what I did is, um, when I walked in, my sister-in-law said, oh, that's a pretty dress. And I said, thank you. I said, it's the one I wore to my mother's funeral and her face dropped. <laughs> I said, well, it's still a pretty dress. Yes, it is a pretty, but it is the one I wore to my mom's funeral. You, the picture that I showed you the other day, it's actually the same dress. But I like it, and I've only worn it one other time, and I wore, I wore it actually in 2010. And I have it on today, and to, this is 2019. So apparently, I've stayed pretty close to my size, and it fits me just as nice as it did the day I got it. Okay, another thing that I wanted to bring up was when you're getting older, I'm going to talk about old age, okay? It's it's something that's going to, everybody's going to get it. And the only way you're not going to get it is if you have to die young. My mother used to say, oh, it's a heck to grow old. And I said, yeah, but the other alternative is to die young. And I'd rather not die young. I'll just deal with the heck of being old. Okay. When I was younger, my mother used to say how time flies. And we used to think how time dragged. And you'd be waiting for something. Remember when you were waiting for Christmas or your birthday or some special something? Like when I was counting down to my wedding, <laughs> I actually wrote down, I had an inside my cabinet door, I had, I had a calendar that I was making X's on each day and it seemed like forever away, forever. And when I was counting down, I count down every year from January 1st to March 31st, not because it's my birthday, because it should be better weather by March 31st is what I'm thinking. So I always put an X on those days and it seems like it takes forever. Well, I went to church last Saturday and then it was like, I, I gotta go to church again. It's already Saturday. Where the heck did the week go? Well, time flies. So when your parents tell you time will fly, it does fly. My husband goes to work and I look at the clock and I go, you're home, home already? It's like, where did the day go? The day is gone. It just flies away. And so um, that was something I wanted to tell you. And uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, when you're at your job and you're in every and Monday morning comes, it's such a drudgery. I know. I, I felt the drudgery of it too. But Monday comes and you figure when you get home on Monday, okay, Monday's down. We just have to go get to Wednesday because Wednesday's like climbing the hill and then you're back down again. So you would go to work Monday, you go to work Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday and thank goodness it's the Wednesday. That's the middle of the week. And when Wednesday was done, now it's all downhill because it's only two more days to the weekend unless you have to work weekends. Some people do. I'm sorry for you that have to work weekends. My, my one daughter, she has to work weekends. She has two jobs and I tell her that she's young. You have to make hay while, while you're young. And excuse me, I had some cheese just a little bit ago. I was hungry for something. Actually all three girls work weekends. All, yeah, all three Best girls do. Yeah, they do. Come to think of it. Yep, they all do. But Emily's the one that complains. Hi, Emily. I'm talking about you in case you watch this. Um, but anyway, she has she works two jobs. She works at the school during the week, which is a really, working at the school is like a piece of cake. Oh my goodness, it's so easy. It's the easiest job I've ever had in my whole life. I thought McDonald's was easy. Well, this was even easier. And then she works at Country Fair which is a store that um, sells, it's a convenience <clears throat> store, yeah. I have feel a burp coming, oh good lord, <laughs> let's hope it's not one of those big ones, but I do feel, every time I turn the camera on, I feel like I could burp. It might come, well just wait and watch and see, <laughs> it might be there. 
Um, but anyways, Wait for it, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, I know. I don't think Charlie saw the other one, but we were talking to him one time, and I had told him that you know I burp too, and he mm -hmm. he probably didn't believe me, but yes, I do burp. I burp like a sailor. If sailors burp, or a trucker, if truckers burp, I'm sorry, people. I don't know. <laughs> I burp really bad. And when I was, oh, I went off track. Where was I going? Oh my goodness. See, about the jobs. See, I can get off track so easy. It just moves right along on that train and I forget to get off and there I go. I'm going down the track on another track. All right, um, about the jobs. I told Emily that she needs to keep her two jobs. She's young. She's, she's not even 30. She's close, but she's not 30. I says, you work while you're young because when you get old, you don't have the energy. My sisters and I were talking today and one of them says that it takes her twice as long to do what she used to do maybe 10 years ago and now she doesn't even want to speed up she could do it a little faster but she don't have the energy to push ahead so I tell my youngest one that she needs to just keep the job the job that at the store the convenience store pays her bills and the job at the school puts money in the bank and my father used to say that um, the small you know, like she wants to make, she would love to make like over $20 an hour. Well, in our area, that's a very rare thing. You've got to be in the sci field of science or something and work in some big city. Because out here in the country, you're not going to make that kind of money. And I always tell her that, like my father would say, he'd say that the steady drip is what fills the bucket. The downpour might fill it fast, but when it downpours, a lot of it splashes back out. So the bucket's still not full, but the steady drip will fill that bucket. Um, and there was other things I wanted to say about growing old, and that's like we should prepare um, for your end days. Not a good subject to talk about maybe right now. I will save it for another time. But yes, you should be thinking about your end days. And that could be when you're 90 or 100. 105, 120, you, you could live a long time. Medical research is showing that people are living a lot longer. And when it comes time to retire, if you feel like you want to keep working, you keep working. If you don't want to, it's, uh, you can, you, when, you, when you don't want to work anymore, your body will tell you and your mind will finally click that says, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And then you, you're retired. But until then, you work hard and you save every penny. And that's my talk for today. I guess I'm done. I'm going to, my husband's smiling at me. I, I went into all directions. I went from a baby shower to death. Oh, good grief. Well, I guess that's the title of my thing now. Baby shower to death. So you have a great day. And I hope your week goes the speed you want your week to go. If it goes real fast and you're working, yay. If you're retired and it goes too fast, Let's slow it down and make it last. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.